Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com and I'm covering some of my favorite ensembles in the Reactor User Library. This week I'm going over Rotkire, which is a generative sequencer and I'll provide a link to it in the video description. And you can use it to make some stuff like this. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We come out with new reactor content every week. We have three different playback modes. The first will always play as long as the MIDI clock is running. The second requires incoming MIDI notes. And the third one restarts the sequencer from zero on each new MIDI gate. And the last two playback methods also require the uh, reactor clock to be running as well. So unfortunately, most of the controls in this ensemble have pretty poor documentation. Um, they don't really explain anything beyond what the name of the knob would tell you. And a lot of them do some pretty abstract things, so it's kind of difficult to figure out exactly what's going on. So to simplify matters, uh, I'd like to start by creating kind of an initialized patch for this ensemble so we can just get an idea of how everything fits together and works. So to do that, we're going to turn both of the spread knobs, that's the tempo spread and the position spread, to zero. And we're going to turn off the um, four buttons named on in these four middle modules here. And let's take a look at what kind of sequence this is going to give us. So on the left hand side of the interface we have a little XY module that has a bar for each note that can be triggered by this ensemble. And the um, note is going to be triggered each time you see the bar move. And so let's watch and notice that the only time that the notes aren't triggering is when they are changing direction. So we got a slight gap in there as everything turned around and we can um, utilize this to kind of spread out our notes a little more using the position spread. You can see which notes are being triggered on the right hand XY module right here. And using the tempo spread we can change the speed of the blocks so that they don't all move at the same rate. All right, so we just have this cacophony of MIDI notes being played right now, and it's just a little too much. And there are two macros in the middle section that allow you to cut down on the amount of notes that are played. And those are called the whole and skip macros. So if we turn the whole macro on, you see that the interval knob is directly controlling the amount of notes that are allowed to pass through. And the higher the interval is, the less notes are going to pass through. And we can modulate that or change that a little bit using the um, pass knob here, which allows a few more notes to be passed through, but still not as many as were originally coming through, no matter what its value is. And the skip macro allows us to further pare down the notes that are passing through. And again, I'm not sure exactly how these work, but they seem to use a succession of uh, modulo math modules to um, decide whether or not to trigger notes. And the offset knob here will give you just a bunch of different variations on whatever sequence is coming through. Finally, we have these two macros that control the velocity so we can get some more dynamic effects out of our velocity ranges. 
And this is pretty great because it just adds a lot of feeling and makes it a little less robotic seeming. All right, so on the very right hand side, we have our pitch section, which controls the pitch of the outgoing notes. We can select from a variety of different scales. And the spread knob here allows us to change the um, how far out the notes that are playing are spread apart. So we turn it all the way down. They're actually all just going to play the root note. And if we turn it all the way up, you'll see we get to spread it out across more octaves. And finally, we can use the key button to have the root note be selected by the incoming MIDI pitch. Alright, so Rock Hair comes with this little test synth, which is alright, but it's, you know, it's a little limited compared to the sort of things that we can accomplish in Reactor. And we can just delete it and add in any synth we want instead and um, connect it to the Rock Hair MIDI outputs. And so let's just do that with a copy of Steampipe 2. And I find that uh, generative sequencers like these tend to work really well with mallet type sounds. So to receive um, MIDI from Rock Kair, simply go to the Connect tab um, of the Properties and select um, the Rock Kair in the From Internal Instruments drop down menu. And make sure you select the instrument and not the ensemble there. And so one other really cool thing we can do is um, if we change the number of voices in the Rock Kair instrument, we're changing the number of available MIDI outputs. So see, I just changed the number of voices to eight. Now we have eight voices coming out instead of the 15 we were using previously. All right, once again, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com. I hope you guys will check out our website, and I'll be back next week with another Reactor video.